Adura Mitiba. What do you mean? We don't know. Wait now. Whether we know it or not, there is speaking in tongue in the Bible. So we have spoken in tongue. Adura Mitiba. Praise the Lord. When a servant of God that is sure of his calling says he wants to bless you, you better key to it. Because if it's truly called, God backs up whatever he says. Hallelujah. <laughs> and this month's prophetic Sunday is this Sunday, next tomorrow, now today is Saturday. That is where we have the power of the spoken word. Amen. The power of the spoken word. The power of the tongue. We set aside one Sunday every month to exercise the power of the spoken word. If you have never attended it before, come. Amen. Amen. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Come and recreate your world by the power of the spoken word. Hallelujah. This Sunday. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm being correct. It's first Sunday, so it's next week Sunday, not 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 tomorrow. Okay, it's a correction. First Sunday of the month. Okay, okay. First Sunday of the month. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Your life will never remain the same again. Hallelujah. It's good to go to church. Now tell Christians, wherever you are, always know that Satan does not rest. Don't you ever think that Satan will stop pursuing you. Until we go in the rapture, we are his target. Especially if you are a true Christian. William Abraham put it this way, if Satan is not after you, Satan has gotten you. If he's not chasing you, it means he has gotten you. And there is no alternative to God's provided means of prayer. It is prayer. Prayer. You ever want God to step into your matter? It is prayer. And don't say, I have prayed. The condition has not changed. Uh, so what do you want to do now that the condition has not changed? Is there an alternative to prayer? What I expect you to do is pray the more. If it is not changing, then begin to see instead, maybe I have not prayed enough. Or I have not exercised enough faith to go with my prayers. Or I am not a serious one believer too because you can't have one leg here and one leg there. You can't be fighting with God and expect God to fight for you. Take a look at your life. Job, nothing was walking around him. Suddenly, everything turned upside down. And some miserable comforters came and they were trying to give him every reason. It must be a secret sinner, that's why. Job looked at his life and knew that he did not deserve it. He was sure he could face God and remind God concerning this area you know the covenant I made with my eye you know the covenant I made with this body you know the covenant I made and every vow I have ever made I have fulfilled it and you know how many times I bring offering to you even for my children in case they commit anything I bring offering for them Amen praise the Lord so why will my condition be like this you see? Amen. We must come to that estate. Once you have reached that estate, 
Then, continue in prayers. And one thing is, God has appointed time to, to answer everybody. And my own time may not be your own time, though we may have the same prayer point. But that somebody stands here to testify, it's evidence that God answers prayer. If he answer his own, he will answer my own too, because it is in the same atmosphere we pray. In the same name we pray, the same God we talk to. That's what gives us hope. And the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and even the story of Daniel, should let you know that God is never late. Even at the last minute, just when the fire was to consume them, he stepped in. When you think there is no way out of this problem I am in, when you are closing your eye to hear, boom, suddenly you wake up. Eh? What happened? I'm still alive. I know that. Praise God. You have to understand that God is never late. Praise the Lord. Don't say it is too late for you to marry. It's getting late. That is by your own timing, not God's timing. And when God blesses you to find a place like this, every Friday we are here. Somebody will think it's a special program today. Not a special program. Now so we the day here every Friday. Every Friday. Many pastors are too lazy to organize prayers every Friday. Lazy. And because they are lazy, their members too are lazy members. They cannot sit in the church for too long. That is why between 7 o'clock and 12 o'clock they have four services on Sundays so that the people can just come and spend only one hour and go and sit down and watch a home movie. If you are coming here on Sunday, let me tell you in advance. So, we are coming here on Sunday. We not get closing time. But there is no dull moment. The best place to be is in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. You won't even know time has gone. Amen. So it's good to come to church. Uh -huh. Igbo, Prophet Moses gave you a prophecy, I think, which day? I think two weeks ago or so. Senior prophets, most senior prophet. <laughs> no, 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 he was shouting, he came to my office shouting that uh, that thing I tell you don't come to pass. And I'll say you should go inside, you're going to lead prayers. You should come inside yeah. and lead prayers. Two weeks ago, Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. No, sorry, three weeks ago. Okay. You, I was standing here. You came to me. When you were leading prayer, you came to me to whisper to me that I should pray against gang of. And I should pray, no, set up. I should pray against set up and I should pray against anything that will make police to come and search my house. Yes. I don't think I say what did I do with police because at my house. I don't take the prayer anyhow. <laughs> uh, so he says don't take the prayer anyhow because ah. because no be prophet talk. <laughs> so I just pray. I say Father, I cancel it. So I begin to pray. I don't even take her serious. So when I got home now, I told my wife. I say this is what Pastor told me. So she can't carry the prayer for head. <laughs> so. Yesterday, I was just coming from my bus stop. I noticed that some people were following me from the side mirror. So I do ask if I want to buy something for supermarket. They come back one corner. Ah, that time, one of my boys, I say, ah, they don't they follow me. Oh. He look around, he don't say anywhere. I say, they don't they follow me. I say, I move, they move. Now I want to enter one street. Now they block me. Say, make we go to my house. I say, ah, what did I do? We enter inside the house. They show me search warrant. Ah. When I saw the search warrant, all my mind is that I be somebody not gonna drop something for my house. And in my house, every hour of the day, people are in my house. 
So I said, ah, I called, I texted her, whispered my wife, anybody call my husband, I know they. He said, no. He said, she has been around since. I was not around. He said, she has been, nobody can. I said, okay. I can't balance. I said, sir, what did I do that you people want to search my house? He said, don't worry, you will see. I said, what did I do? I said, they wanted to enter my room. I said, oh God, hold on first. How can you enter my room? You did not tell me what I, and uh, who sent you and what did I do? So the man said, I wait first, we'll go see. I said, okay, now go search. He searched the whole house, search everywhere. He wanted to enter the other room. And I don't want to call and say, oh, we don't tire. Oh, Lord, the broke the shit they do. Ah. He said, actually, they do go to send the con this kind of thing. I said, okay, it was the guy that we did business together. I asked him for my money. He don't want to give me the money. I said, okay. And I called somebody around him so that we went early in the morning by five. Let me go and collect my money from him. So the guy and I said, okay, you want to teach me that he will show me pepper. So I said, okay, now I called my wife. I said, you see, you they wanted to go. I was praying. I said, God, I don't know whether anybody have entered my house to put something because I was not around. So I started praying. Immediately, confusion come upon them. They said, I made my wife go give their food, made a job. Hey! I <laughs> said, Are you a pastor? I said, Yes, I'm a pastor. Uh, because he saw some documents, some company documents I have. He said, eh, you'll be pastor, Abby. I better tell your wife, may go give us that food. Get one food where they send to the come. <laughs> People that came to come and search, they started eating. He said, Pastor, Pastor, come, 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 come. Go buy us red wine or give us wine. I don't say you'll be pastor, go give us ever wine. <laughs> I said, my boy, I said, I better rush, go bring one. <laughs> Church, clap your hands for Jesus. So I quickly went to Pastor Jesus and I said, Anytime when they see that your revelation, they cancel her immediately. Look at the cancel of my back. For three hours, they are, they are in my house. Three good hours. I said, What did I do when they do all this thing? So I said, Pale, anytime when they see that, they make it a cancel her. When God reveals a matter, it is settled. It is certain. Praise the Lord. But it was because he was in church. Because we were praying, I was here. When that revelation came to me, and I went to him to whisper it to him, pray, oh, police, they come. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, the plan of the enemy concerning you will not come to pass. Tell your neighbor. Tell three people, no weapon of the enemy fashion against you shall prosper. Three people, tell them. Three people, tell three people around you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, 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 and somebody said tonight, so you are going to take questions. I say yes, it's one, only one question I'm going to answer. And the question is already with me here. So don't, because before I know why you jump up now and come out. No, not, not you. I don't get the question. You don't hear. Praise God. <laughs> when next we come? It's a waiting. Before I talk finish, you go jump with each here now. They ask question. Eh? You say what? I have an unsearchable desire to do God more and more, and I want to get get from revelation. That's why. Thank you very much. Be listening to our tape messages. Be listening, listening. Faith coming by hearing. Okay. And sir. hearing the word of God. Okay, sir. But today I won't answer your own. Listen to this one first. Okay, okay. Our sir. time don't they go? Okay, sir. Listen, church, and this. The question here is to address a misconception of our stand in this ministry concerning prosperity. There's a program coming on the 13th and it's an annual program. We declare that week a prosperity week. 
It's impression given that we don't believe in prosperity because we speak against those who have measured themselves, pastors and ministries, on prosperity, 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 prosperity. And some brag about it. Some even name themselves that they are money doubler. Some say they are that they have a mandate to raise financial giants. And all the claims. Amen. Listen, church. When you come here, listen. I believe in prosperity. I believe in it. Don't you ever think that I don't believe in it. We in this ministry, we believe. That is why we say once in a week, I mean in a month, we declare a whole week. We call it prosperity week where we face the area of prosperity. Especially when it comes to financial prosperity. Because money answered all things. The scripture says so. Praise the Lord. Yes. But listen. When you come to this church here, we try by all means to be scriptural in whatever we are doing here. As much as we know, as much as we can. See, when this ministry started, because we, are, we, we have the whole world listening to us, there are people that are watching us now from all over the world. Listen, when this ministry started, I happened to be a product, core product of a core enter message settings. I have never been in a denomination before. I was not a member of any church before. After my conversion, after my conversion, the first church I will enter is an enter message believing church. Followers of the teachings of William Abraham. But I discovered something. For those of you who may be ministers and listening to me in this message, that is the difference between me and you people. I discover something. You gather people and you begin to teach them holiness. And I discover that it was difficult for them to achieve it. All they end up doing is just canal you know, appearances. You know, hypocritical appearances. They dress to please the pastor. They dress so that people no go say. And because of it, too, they were not having converts. Because when they come in among them, there are sets of rules. You cannot dress like this. You cannot do like this. You cannot do like this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. When I had the opportunity to pastor the church, I decided that you've used it that way. I looked at it. Why did it not succeed? It is simple. It is simple. You cannot put the cart before the horse. I believe with the whole of my heart that what we stand for, the followers of William Abraham, especially as it pertains to holiness, if a man or a woman does not have the Holy Ghost, he can never accept it. It's too hard. It's too hard for a young girl in this age not to wear trousers. It's too hard. It's too hard for a young woman not to wear a ring, not to put on jewelry, not to paint her face or fry her head. When it is the general trend, even in Christianity. And then you are coming to sound different. Nobody taking your word alone will agree to do it. 
Therefore, I said, that is when we started, Pastor Thomas, all of you, we said, wait, forget, don't do this. Before you tell them, drop your ring, let them receive the Holy Ghost first. When they receive the Holy Ghost, and I am speaking what the Holy Ghost wants as a standard for his children, the Holy Ghost inside of them will bear record that it is the truth, and the Holy Ghost inside of them will give them the ability to do it. And that is what gave birth to the baptism of the Holy Ghost program. Every year. And people receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. And there are young girls, beautiful men and women. Some of the Holy Ghost visited them. Talked to them personally. Stop that day. Some just discovered the taste for it. Just died. Some are still putting it, but they are dropping it by number. I don't know whether you understand this language. Those of you who went for NYC, how many people went for NYC here before? Eh? When they want to teach you military drill, you, you start by doing by number. Eh? Right turn. They will, when you want to teach you how to turn, right turn. Eh? Even cop the attention. Attention. They will say, they will teach you first because they're a bloody civilian. You don't know that language. So they Attention by number. Attention one. One. Then they go around to see whether the leg straight well or not. You go stand like that. Tap. Attention two. Tap. Uh -huh. By number. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some people are dropping those worldly things by number. They have stopped earring. They have stopped trousers. They started with a ring. They drop it first. Then after some time, they drop trouser. Remaining hair. Thank God for this church. Then they cover hair. So they're not going to know what to do with the hair. Don't worry. Very soon, you will reach your hair. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Some brothers... They have reduced the number of bottles of beer they drink. They are taking it small, 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 small. Now, they don't take beer again. They take wine with just small percentage of alcohol. You know, they're just small, just small. You just don't need to stop everything now. You are stopping it by number. Don't worry. One of these days, you will stop it totally. But it's not by your efforts. But by the power of the indwelling spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody said, the pastor said, that what surprised him is that he said, crowd are going to that church and they are hitting it hard. So what is the secret? You are hearing me now, pastor. The secret is, let them get the Holy Ghost first. And when we say get the Holy Ghost, we are not saying go and teach them how to speak in tongue. Because there are people that are speaking in tongue and they are all painted up and dressing naked and speaking, and speaking in tongue. That's not what we are talking about. We are talking about somebody leading somebody to receive eternal life and have a relationship with God. That God you have a relationship with will tell you how to act. When you do something wrong, he will deal with you. Well, that is the step we took. Coming to prosperity also. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We found out that, praise the Lord, the Bible, Christ himself said, we should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And other things shall be other added. All the things people chase. Now, 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 if you are not born again and you are chasing prosperity, you have missed it. Now, that is the one we fight. All these funny preachers who use the doctrine of prosperity to enrich themselves. What we are to teach you, what we do in Prosperity Week, is not to enrich the pastor, enrich anybody, but to enrich the individual, you yourself. Yes. If you have heard my teaching, I told you something. That when it comes to giving, the rule, the one principal rule of prosperity, he who gives receives. Hallelujah. Giving. Sowing seed. And I told you, while others preach 
and they emphasize bringing it to the altar because that is where they will collect it from. But I tell you something that the blessing, the true prosperity that comes, listen church, amen, that there are fertile grounds when it comes to seed sowing. And that, that the fertile ground, one of the fertile ground, that is it, bringing it to the altar. But that a more fertile ground is to see a needy brother or sister and help. It's more fertile than anything else. I'm telling you. The Bible says he that stopped his ear at the cry of the poor. He said he himself will cry. And nobody will hear you. Amen. The Bible says he that giveth to the poor lendeth to God. And he God will surely repay you. And when God wants to pay you back, he pays you in hundredfold. So that is just one of it. That listen, church. I believe that prosperity is the children's meat. So make sure you are a child first before you claim prosperity. Satan can give you prosperity. Amen. Just as Satan can give you anointing. Listen. I'm not preaching because prosperity week is coming. But in a few minutes before we close this morning, listen church. Just giving you a bearing for you to understand why you as an individual must refuse poverty. Poverty is a cause. Let me tell you why we that are believers, especially those of us who preach the kind of gospel that we preach, why we must do everything to prosper. And I'm talking about godly prosperity. Praise God. Listen. Satan knows that we are the ones that have the true light. And he will do so many things to rubbish that light or kill the effect of that light. One of it is to render you perpetually in poverty. And you have the word, but money, don't go come your way. And you are going to heaven, you have the Holy Ghost, but you will go there as a poor man. The only safe thing for you to do is to hold, you know, diligently follow God's own principle for prosperity. If you follow that principle, no cause, no covenant, no demon, no man, no woman will be able to stop you from prospering. The only problem we have is we refuse to follow those principles and those principles, they are not just principles, they are even commandments of the Lord. They are commandments. God himself has released prosperity among his people, but he told us what to do to remain in that prosperity. You search for it, you look for it. And you will see it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So let nobody think that we don't believe in prosperity. We believe in it. But we believe in following it faithfully. When you follow it faithfully, amen, then you can go for prayers when he comes. You can go for prayers when he comes. <laughs> he will never stop you. He'll be fighting you. The next person selling by your side will fight you. Hallelujah. The person to give you that LPO, that contract, demon will go and enter him to delay it. All because it is you. You see? And all manner of, all they mobilize you to do a job, then the equipment you are using so that you will not meet the conditions of the contract, you won't meet the timing, then they will get angry and cancel the contract leave you with debts. Oh, you finish the contract, pay me now so that all the money when you borrow go to the contract, everything will enter 
interest. So when you eventually receive the money, it does not benefit you at all. But when you decide to follow it, the covenant way, that is why the theme of a prosperity week is a covenant world. It is a covenant world. God has covenanted to make us prosper. That is the water side of the cross on Calvary. Yes, when you become a Christian, there are two things that stand before you. When that Roman soldier pierced the side of Jesus Christ, water and blood, the Bible says, came out. And people don't know why it was water and blood. John said, he that come, came not by water alone, but by water and blood. The water side of Christianity is the prosperity side. And the blood side is the bloody side. Some people lost their lives. Some through the waters some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Through, some through great sorrow, but God gives us smile in the night season. Some we go through the fire, some we go through the flood of persecutions, of trials and temptations. That is it. But while you are going through it, there is also the water side. The two together. There is a cross to carry. Hallelujah. But there is also the prosperity of the righteous. I will talk about it on Sunday. God bless you. Let's put our hands together for our God. I'll talk about it in detail on Sunday. I believe in prosperity. I hate poverty. God allowed me to see money before at a very early age. I didn't know that some people used to pray for money. I didn't know because all I needed, I got it. I am not a covetous person. I'm a very, you know, uh, what, what's the English word for it? You know, I'm self-sufficient. I don't, I'm not, I don't dream those big, big dreams that people will pursue, pursue, no sleep. You know, once I have all my needs are met, you know, and the thing that I cannot afford, my I know they go there. If I see fine motor, they pass. Since I don't say my money no reach there, I feel look at oh, oh fine motor. That's why I don't go. I won't say Kai. See that. I must buy this motor. I must buy. I go thief the money everywhere I go get by so. But I never knew that people used to, you know, beg for money. Or, or I mean, what do you call it? No, beg for, people used to come and beg me for money, so I know that one. But to pray for my own financial need, I never knew that. You see, God allowed me to see that very well. Everything around me was rosy. <laughs> Some of you who know me. Eh? At the age of 26, I was already a flight lieutenant in the Air Force. And I was in charge of their money here in Lagos. And a young man like that, with that kind of money, plus the one with teeth, plus the one with all together, money was there. Your food, your food. Then suddenly, he, God, now allowed the opposite condition to come. To also see the other side of life. That there, is all, there are people that pray to be able to eat one square meal in a day. They pray for it. He allowed me to see it. He allowed me to go to Okrika to buy coats. Ah, good. This one, the Malam, they hang the whole. I stood there. I go test. Come on, how much? 2,000, 1,500. And they look left. My person will know me. No sister, they here. 
I go, where am I? You go. Praise God. I knew where to go and eat 50 naira food. Even 20 naira food, there is. If you want me to show you, I will show you. I know where to go and eat 20 naira food. It is um, um, this thing, a way to soup with um, Amala. <laughs> that black, black one. With 20 naira. It's okay. You know. Then the, the, the fish, where did they cut? You know those fish, where did they cut? Different, different sizes. They can just add one on top for you. 20 naira. You go chop, drink extra water <laughs> for the other to go. So I know that poverty is a cause. I've seen the two sides. So I understand what people go through. That's why I hate poverty. Tell your neighbor, I hate poverty. Hate, hate it, hate it. Tell her you hate it. Tell her you hate it, you hate it. Hate it. This church shall produce millionaires. This church shall produce billionaires. If you answer me, you'll be one of the millionaires. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we stand up? Come here on Sunday and hear how you should prosper. Follow it and see whether you will not prosper. Uh -huh. Can we stand up? Let the ministers take their position. When I came in, I walked to Pastor Francis when uh, I said, there's administration I saw. I was wondering how we'll do it. Amen. See, every one of us here, your wedding finger, that is your finger, your left finger, whether you are married or not married, shall be anointed here. After it is anointed, I don't want anybody to sit down you will use your mouth and renounce and denounce any covenant you have that is bringing any demon to follow you. Demon husband. That demon husband, demon wife is one source that causes poverty. Frustration. It disturbs the progress of who they are linked with. Don't know. How somebody go say be your demon husband and they no go let you prosper? Which kind of husband be that? So what do be the use now for that marriage? Would you get angry this night and cut off any relationship? He says your demon husband. He no agree you marry physical husband. Any man will come, you go do something, chase the man away. Which kind of friend be that in the spirit that is disturbing your progress? Would you get angry this night and cut off that relationship? With your finger, you'll be demonstrating it. Take your wedding ring. Take any agreement. Up. Take it after it is anointed. Anything you say here to cut you off that marine spirit, that shrine that will follow you, that say they married you to a shrine. Tell them I belong to Jesus. And under this ministration that the pastor has given us now, I claim my freedom from you. I claim my freedom. God will take over from there. The angels of God will hear what you are saying and implement what you are saying. Any link between you and that demon shall be cut off. Please, this is second to the last prayer point before we close. Then I will bless you. Just two prayer points. Then I will bless you. And then we close. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Anybody here, you were married to a demon, knowingly or knowingly, today I am here to dissolve that marriage. 
That demon that follows you wherever you go. That demon that uses your face before you help us to disturb your progress. That demon that goes ahead of you for that interview and spoil your chances there. That demon that makes you forget your appointment. That makes you to fail your exams. Even though you read, read, read. Now, once anything you are doing is for your progress, it will disturb it. Today, the link shall be broken. I said today, the link shall be broken. Please, everybody, make sure they do it. Even if you don't want to be separated from that demon, just let your finger be anointed. Hallelujah. Let's go into action. Remember, once your finger is anointed, I don't want anybody to see that. Please do it with all anger. When the Holy Ghost Himself gives us a prayer point, you may be the reason why, you in particular, may be the reason why that prayer point is given. Connect to it. Yes, you have been praying that prayer for how many years? But today may be the end. And you may not know it. And you will not enter into it. If you are, now that we say, do the thing that will change your life forever. And sleep, want to catch you. Just know, say, that that demon, they make you sleep. Now get angry. Get angry. Say, leave me alone, Job. Leave me alone, Job. My association with you. How does it affect my life? Wait, wait, wait till I came. Why they follow you up and down? You they follow me up and down. Wait till, go by fire. Go by fire. Are we ready to possess our possession? Are we ready to be disconnected with any demon? You may say, I don't have any demon husband or demon wife. If you don't know, what if that demon may be hiding from you, knowing, hiding? Eh? I think there was a sister here that, for years, very close to me, my family, some time ago, eh? that got married for a number of years. No issue. Eh? For a number of years, probably eight years, eight, nine years or so. No issue. I just spoke to my wife. My wife told me concerning her problem. I said, Come for prayer. I think we were here one Friday night. I, I was conducting deliverance on her, and that demon was talking. After it, she was so embarrassed. She said, You mean this demon has been with me all these years? I didn't know. That month she took in. She's pregnant now. Maybe that frustration, where you don't know, you did say you don't do her well. It may be a spirit following you and has refused to let you know, say, Nain, they follow you. Every time, if you want to know, it will show you the picture of one man somewhere, one woman somewhere. Then you did there, they hate everybody around you. Meanwhile, that, that spirit, they do you. Today, there shall be a separation. I said today, there shall be a separation. Those of you watching us from abroad, get connected, get anointing oil and anoint your own finger. Get anointing oil, anoint that your wedding finger. Whether you are married or not. Thank you, Father. Whether you are married or not. And take that same prayer point. Use your mouth and denounce all covenants, known or unknown. Say it, my father from above wants to honor it. He wants to take over the battle. It is time for you to be free, somebody. It is time for you to be free. The time for the prophecies that have been hanging over you to come to pass, the time has come. It is time for you to be in your husband's house, somebody. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time for battle. It is time for battle. From the back. If you want God to fight a battle for you, please worship him. Worship him. Don't sit down. Shake yourself. Shake yourself. Be alive. If not, maybe you, my prayer don't start even before the thing. Before, before the thing touch my finger. Before the oil touches my finger. Everybody, including me. When well, I make us never get money for this church, I will anoint my own. From the back, please. Convenance keeping God. There is.
is no one like you. I found Omega. There is no one like you. Oh Lord, I'm not keeping up. There is no one like you. Do my 
Make sure you are the one. Blood of Jesus Christ. Speak for me. Shall we go? Uh huh. Uh huh. Finally. Shout your name. Are anywhere that name is kept? Pray, 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 pray. That spirit that said, I will not enjoy my marriage. Disconnect me, Lord. Pray, 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 pray. That demon that said we're not progressing in life. Disconnect me, Lord. Jesus name we pray I want that amen to ring out four times in Jesus Christ's name we pray uh -huh. Uh -huh. finally we're going to take this prayer point again any property of the enemy of that demon any property attracting that spirit to me father expose it and destroy it with your fire you may not know but after this night God will reveal that thing to you there may be something you have kept in your house you may not know it when you go God will expose it and reveal it to you it's true it may be a particular type of perfume you use that you like so much. 
It may be a particular cream you use. It may be a particular cloth. It may be anything. It can be anything. But when God wants to deliver you, his deliverance is total. Take it again, Lord. Any property that is attracting this spirit to come to me. Yes, Lord. Any property that is attracting this spirit to come to me. Expose and destroy it. He will expose and destroy it. Somebody shout Holy Ghost fire. Shout Holy Ghost fire. Shout it again, Holy Ghost fire. A masquerade left somebody and ran out. By the dressing, I know it's a masquerade. Walked out of somebody. Are we ready now? Somebody shout Holy Ghost fire again. As you shout fire, fire will be tormenting that demon I just left you. Shout Holy Ghost fire. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. And that demon is living reluctantly, Abby. Close your eyes. And that spirit is going reluctantly, Abby. Shout Holy Ghost fire. No, that fire has to be very loud. Any demon that, yes, Lord. Any demon that has left anybody here and is waiting for you anywhere to go by fire. Holy Ghost! Amen. And the Lord opened somebody's eye here and you saw a fish that was thrown out of the water. A fish, a water vomited fish out. And that is somebody that has been kept under that water that has been released. Any water that is holding anybody here. Water kingdom. Mami water kingdom. That has been holding your glory. Making any claim over you. They say you are a queen. You are a king. You are a priest. For that water to vomit you out. By fire. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be in the spirit. God will show you something. He will show him it here. Certainly, he's showing you too. He's here. Some of you that are lighter in the spirit than me, you see more than I will see. Because if he himself ministered this deliverance, then he is only wanting to hear you move him to go into action. There must be action. You saw that masculine walked out, run to the altar fast. You saw that fish that was thrown out of the water. Run to the altar, run, run to the altar. Your deliverance has come. Today is your day of visitation. Whosoever it is, that fish, you saw that fish, run to the altar. Saw that masquerade run to the altar quickly, quickly. Whoever it is, why we take this prayer point? Why we take this prayer point that I wanted us to take before those things were flashing to me? Any property that is attracting that spirit to come to me, Father, expose and destroy it by fire, expose and destroy it by 
Fire, Holy Ghost fire. Four times shall we go? Uh huh. Uh huh. Finally, any property. Oh yeah, prayer, prayer, prayer. Destroy my fire. Destroy my fire. Father, expose and destroy. Jesus name we pray now hold that finger again and I want that your amen to connect very well anybody here under the influence of my voice and there is a demon that has covenanted against your progress. Following you up and down, disturbing your progress. That covenant started one day. Today is the end of that covenant. Two groups of people here. I must marry group and business, business, businessmen and women here. The target of that nonsense spirit. You are hearing me now. The covenant with that demon is started one day. Today is the end in the name of Jesus Christ. If you can answer me, amen. By the grace of God in this covenant night, Any covenant that brings a demon to follow you, to disturb your progress, that brings frustration in your life as a servant of God, I break that covenant today in the name of Jesus Christ. Woman, 
Water kingdom. Demon from the water. Water in your village. An ocean. A river. Wherever it is on earth here. I dissolve that marriage today in the name of Jesus Christ. When I say you, I'm talking to you in person. God has anointed me to break yokes. That's why I am now in my office. I am not a prophet, but I am an iron breaker. When I speak that which pertains to your deliverance, God honors it. And that's why I'm speaking confidently now. Any marriage you have entered into with a water spirit anywhere, I dissolve that marriage tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I dissolve that marriage. I dissolve it. I dissolve that marriage. I break that marriage. I break that marriage. I divorce that marriage. I divorce that marriage. I scatter that relationship. I scatter that relationship. I scatter that relationship. I end that relationship. I end that relationship. I end that relationship. I end that relationship. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it. Uh huh. Be the spirit. When you answer me this one, amen now, you will do something in your hand that shows, because I'm going to tell you that every wedding ring they gave in the spirit, I return it to sender in the name of you. You will, amen, remove it and throw it like that. I mean, do an action of removal. No, I didn't say you should remove your wedding ring, throw it with your husband, you reach out, your husband goes, um, just do that action like that. By that, you are pulling that token of your relationship with the demon back to sender, back to sender, back to sender. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody here? The demon has wedded you in the spirit and gave you a wedding ring. A demonic wedding ring for that wedding ring to be destroyed by fire. Holy Ghost! Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it out. By fire, by fire, go by fire, go by fire, by fire, go by fire. Pull it out of your fingers, pull it out of your fingers, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it out. Pull it up, pull it out. Return to sender, return to sender. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, you will do it again. You will close your eyes. It's a spiritual thing. And it must go by fire. So that it will melt, melt. So they won't bring it back again. Any. Yes, Lord. For every wedding ring that a demon has given you. Because when you return it, then it has no agreement again with you. To go by fire. Holy Ghost. Oh yeah, go by fire. Go by fire. Go by fire. Go, 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 go by fire. Pull it out by fire. Pull it out where the ring by fire. Pull it out by fire. All the fingers, all the fingers, all the fingers, right and left, right and left fingers, 
Right and left fingers, all the fingers, anywhere they hang. Oh yeah, pull it up by fire. Pull it up, pull it up. Back to sender. All the ten fingers. Oh yeah, pull them up, pull them up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody you are here, they took your spirit and kept it under the water. And they gave you another spirit that is following you up and down. If you answer me, Amen, you are that fish that they will vomit out now. I command that water. To release your spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you out of that water in the name of Jesus. Come out of that water. Come out of that water. Come out of that water. Come out of the water. Come out of the water. Yes, Lord. Anywhere they send that spirit to be following you, I say, back to send that in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are single, in fact, everyone, put lift up that left hand. Now the Holy Ghost ring because you are married to Jesus, so you receive the ring of Jesus now. So when they come in the spirit, they know that you belong to Jesus. Somebody shout very loud, "I belong to Jesus Christ." Say it again. Say it very loud. Can you say it louder? The wedding ring, the marriage that Jesus Christ arranges for you does not come with trouble. His blessing, he make it rich, he does not add sorrow to it. Are you ready to receive the ring now? Be in the spirit. You may be the person, the reason why this ministration is going on. They say, brother, sister, you will not marry. That cause has been broken. And I stand here every time to conduct weddings. Today, wherever you are, the wedding ring, that demonic wedding ring, the Lord has removed it and he wants to replace it with his own now. Therefore, if you can answer me, amen, four times. You are not married, especially the single ones. Today is your I must marry. Lord, honor our faith. Confirm, Papa, that when you step into a matter, there is a change. That somebody here, that with a cause that has delayed marriage, or somebody that is married with a cause that says they will not enjoy their marriage, Father, let that cause be broken tonight in the name of Jesus.
When I say receive your wedding ring, you will answer me amen four times and close your eyes with your finger. Position their finger to receive because the angel of God will do something on some of you now. If you are ready, uh -uh. he says you should ask him to have mercy. I don't know who it is. Somebody shout, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon say, say, have mercy upon me, O Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Say it again. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Say it again. Have mercy upon me, Lord. One more time. Yes, Lord. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because that curse has been broken. If you are ready, you answer me amen four times. I, Pastor Moses Alu, I release your wedding rings for you from above in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Close your eyes. Again, receive your wedding ring with a four amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. your finger ready to receive pointed to receive that wedding ring because you are loose to go and marry I release your wedding rings to you in the name of Jesus Christ uh -huh. Uh -huh. finally receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it oh, receive your own, receive it, receive it nothing can stop it, receive it nothing can stop it nothing, nothing can stop it Receive your wedding ring. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Take your own, take your own. It's time for you to marry. Take it, take it, take it, take your own. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time. It's time for you to marry. It is time, oh, it is time for you to marry. Take your own. Take your own. Take your own. The mercy of God is here. The mercy of God is here. Take it, take it, take it. It is time for you to marry. It is time for you to marry. Yes, Lord. Open your hand in front of you. Open your hand to receive in front of you. The hand of that demon that has been stopping, disturbing your finances, that has stopped your financial expectation from coming to pass, somebody here, that hand has been cut off. I said that evil hand of delay has been cut off. I said the hand of business failure has been cut off. I said the hand of financial frustration has been cut off. I said the cause of poverty has been broken. The covenant with the demon of poverty has been broken. If you can answer me amen four times, I bless these hands to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. If you can answer me four times, your financial expectation, I release it to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. One more time, answer me four times. Your financial expectation through a business, through a contract, through a market you want to sell, 
through a man, through a woman, you expect a favor. Through the people that have been owing you, I release it to you now with four amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, open it. Don't clap yet. Open it. When you say amen, something will happen. Yes, just be in the spirit. Yes, Lord. Just concentrate on your expectation. Where are you expecting it from? I want to make that pronouncement again. Where are you expecting it from? From a relation somewhere? From your husband, from your wife, from your father, from your mother, from your uncle that is in position to help you but that demon has obstructed you all this while. A market you have to sell, the demon has blocked it. Whatever you have been expecting for your progress, for your progress, and you can answer me for a man with your eyes closed and mean it. Somebody, this may be the opportunity you're looking for. As I stand at this altar, I release that expectation to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. It must come. It must come. It must come. Uh -huh. Do not doubt. Just open your heart. Anything can happen. You can never be the same again. That employment letter. Somebody here. You have been expecting. Believing God for, but that demon has withheld it all this while. And you can answer me for amen again for your employment letter. Yes, Lord. Employment letter. You've been looking for employment. You've been going for interview for employment or for a visa. You are believing God for a visa to go somewhere for the betterment of your life. And you are here now. And you can answer me amen. I release that document to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it, oh, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Receive it. God has ordained that he will use a man to meet the needs of a man. God has ordained a benefactor somewhere. If Allah Messiah did not appoint good luck Jonathan as his deputy governor, nobody will have known good luck. See, if Obama Sonjo did not nominate good luck Jonathan to be vice president, he will not be where he is today. Somebody here, you need a benefactor from today. If you can answer me for a man. The man or woman that God has ordained to use as a stepping stone to your progress, you will be connected to that man or woman after today in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The 
career that has separated you from meeting the person that has been ordained for your progress. Today, by four amen here, that barrier has been removed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Finally. See, prayer, what we're supposed to reserve for prosperity week, now we don't start now. That means the anointing has already been released. Before that prosperity week finish, somebody here, your identity will change. From nothing, you will become the most relevant. Where they didn't know you before, you will be the talk of that area. You will sit down in your house. Embassy will call you and tell, tell you to take your visa and travel. You will sit down in your house and employment letters will be searching for you. You will sit down and men will be killing themselves over you to start to marry you. I mean better, better men, oh. Thank you, Jesus. From today, your name, your second name, or your, sorry, the name you are bearing now will be the second name. Your first name shall be faithful. I say your first identity will be faithful. Anywhere you go, there shall be divine favor. I said there shall be favor. Is that hand still open? I declare that from today, anything you do with that hand shall prosper. I say anything you do with that hand shall prosper. You believe in say that amen four times. Use that hand and clap for Jesus. Don't sit down yet. Don't sit down yet. Finally. Finally. Listen. Listen. Finally. I'm going to give you five minutes. Are you going to tell the Lord why you came here this night? He wants to hear you. Don't assume that he knows. He knows everything. Yes. But if you don't talk to him, he will look you. You're going to look up. I want to give you an opportunity. Say, Lord, this is why I came for this vigil. I am believing this, this forthcoming week. I am going for interview this coming week. I'm going for this favor. I want my market to sell this week we're entering. There's an expectation, Lord, let this week not pass me by. Maybe that is what you're looking for. You need a financial favor. Your landlord is disturbing you. You need to change accommodation. You need whatever is the reason you came here. You are sick. You are tired of these pains. Too much frustration. Lord, change my identity. That's why I'm here. Let me be among those that will testify because I came here today. And by next Friday when I will come here, let me come here with a new song in my mouth. Do something and let me confirm that I didn't waste my time coming here tonight. Very loud, Lord Jesus Christ, and take any prayer position you like. If you like, sit down. If you like, stand up. If you like, like whatever prayer position, but make sure you show all seriousness to that prayer and talk to him the way you talk to your earthly father. He's closer to you than you know. Talk to him. Give him reason to answer you. Tell him, how long will I be coming before you answer me? Are you not a merciful God? Show me your mercy also. Not because I deserve it, but because I'm your, your, your child, I'm your son, I'm your daughter. Change my identity. Let this week not pass me by. He said, call upon me. In the time of trouble, he will answer. He said, if I ask him to do anything, he will do it. Did you not say so? If I ask him to do anything, he will do it. Now, this is what I want. That's why I am here tonight. Very loud. Lord Jesus Christ, shall we go?
Oh yeah, prayer, prayer. This is why I am here tonight. Don't keep quiet, please. This is now between you and your heavenly father. Talk to him the way you talk to your earthly father.
In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. You believe you are among those that will testify after this night. How many people believe? Hey, hey, put down your hand first. Nobody comes to God's presence and remains the same. Stand up. Put your hand on your waist. Somebody shout, I am free. I am free. Say it again, I am free. I am free. <laughs> now your family, they carry your village masquerade. God has just delivered you from that spirit. Whoever it is, God has delivered somebody from that masquerade something. Amen. Your hand on your waist and shout, I am free. Four times. Shall we go? I am free. Uh huh. I am free. Uh huh. I am free. Mm. I am free. Anybody that came here with any sickness. That sickness is in that body that you are holding now by the waist. And you can shout, I am free. Four times receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Shall we go? I am free. I am free. I am free. Somebody shout four times by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. Shall we go? Say it. Say it. Finally. Now, when you say you are sick, it includes financial sickness, relationship sickness, marriage sickness, business sickness. Bible said, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am. Heal. Say it again four times. Shall we go? Uh huh. Uh huh. Finally. Is there anybody you are expecting favor from? You will close your eyes and just picture that person in your, in your mind now, in the eye of your mind. Maybe you're expecting a favor from an embassy, from a company you apply for a job, from a man, a woman, a relation, locally or outside the country, wherever. Those of you watching us from the government, you need a paper somewhere. Even if it's more than one person, you will shout, Blood of Jesus Christ, speak for my favor. Blood of Jesus Christ, speak for my favor. With your hand on your waist, though. Blood of Jesus Christ, speak for my favor. Then you will shout the name very loud. I didn't say pray. Just shout the name of that person or those people or that company that you're expecting favor from. It is a deliverance action. This is a prophetic church. Are you ready? If I were you, I will close my eye and just focus my mind on that person. Blood of Jesus Christ, speak for my favor. Wherever that person is, if he they sleep somewhere now, the angel of God will just bring your picture before that person. And you will not have peace until he releases what you are looking for. You believe it, then do it from your heart. 
blood of Jesus Christ, speak for my favor. Four times, they shout the name of that place. Shall we go? Speak for my favor. Three. Finally. Shout that name you're expecting favor from. Again, are we ready? Say it. Now, so we get our testimonies for this church. Very loud. Blood of Jesus Christ, speak for my favor. Shall we go? Uh huh. Uh huh. Finally. Shout that name. Every pain in your body. Any pain, anything, pain, 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 pain in your physical body. Pain in your waist, your stomach, your chest. Your head. Whatever, wherever. In your joints. Your bones. You are feeling pains. It is written by the stripes of Jesus Christ. We are healed. Therefore, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. In your waist, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. In your stomach, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. In your womb, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. In your breast, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I say in your bones, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. In your blood, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the enemy has projected into you by that attack in the spirit, in your dream, through that vision, they projected anything, you match poison, or you ate evil food that has deposited any evil in your body. Today, it is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I say it is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil deposit that is deposited inside your body, I say today, it is removed out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, Okay, untimely death will not be your portion. Amen. You will not die cockroach death. Amen. I hope you are not answering religious amen, but a faith-filled amen. This is the pronouncement I make if you connect and the devil wants to come, the enemy wants to come contrary to my pronouncement, that is when you see the covenant angel of this ministry will appear. Some of you say you saw me. You know I'm not the one. It is the angel of this ministry. It will appear to you in my image. So many of you have seen me before in those conditions. If you have ever seen me, shout hallelujah. No, shout that hallelujah if you have ever seen me like that. Now, these things I am saying is what God is enforcing. One more time, you will not die by the wish of the enemy. Nobody under the influence of my voice here will die by accident. Accident shall not be your portion. Poison will not be your portion. 
Yes, now. Anybody that is digging a pit for you to fall inside, you will jump and pass. I say you will jump and pass. Somebody here, the garment of shame has been removed from you. I said the garment of shame has been removed from you. I don't know what that means. The basin of water and somebody's leg, a hand is washing your leg. Your life must move forward. The cause of stagnation has been broken. I said the cause of stagnation has been broken. One more time. Yes, Lord. All that dream. You'll be dreaming and see yourself in your master that you left how many years ago. You see, they see yourself, they serve him. That manipulation is over today. All this one, every time, somebody abroad, you call me, you say every time you see yourself in your company, your village, every time your village, when you are abroad, when you see yourself in your company, nothing is working for you. That cause has just been broken. Thank you, Jesus. It is time for you to testify. I said from today, they will know that you are serving the living God. From today, by your testimonies, the name of the Lord shall be glorified. The blood of Jesus is speaking for you now. Anybody that the enemy has cast down, the hand of the Lord has lifted you up today. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. If you can answer me, amen, four times, you will be number one to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Clap your hands for Jesus. God bless you, be seated. Check that pain quickly. Check that pain. That pain, you don't feel it again. Come out quickly and be anointed again. It shall be permanent. You felt something left your body. Quickly, come outside. You felt something left your body. During the prayers, quickly come and be anointed. Your life will never be the same again. And it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent right there. What the Lord has done for me It shall be permanent, permanent. Something left your body You don't feel the pain again The Lord has healed you You don't feel that symptom again Quickly come and be anointed It shall be permanent What the Lord has done for me it shall be permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent. Lord, you reign forever. You're the same. I got my turkey, mama, mama. Hey. You lifted me and gave me a song. I got my turkey, mama. 
never think I'm saying, oh, Colombia, be mine. Mamma, yeah, join your mama. Mamma, yeah, not regular, not wrong to talk. So, so, keep it, you know. Normally put your clothes. My clothes. Yes. I saw this thing inside it. Today. No, yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Can we see it? Bring your camera. What is that? I don't know. It looks like cows. Like a cowrie. Cows, yeah. You saw it in your bag that you put your clothes. Yes. Sir. Jesus. And you don't know how it got there. The Lord shall expose the secret of the enemy. I said the Lord shall expose the secret of the enemy. Hallelujah. <laughs> are you not happy that you saw it? I'm happy. You are free. Oh, good day. Take over. The person that is doing this, God will do something to expose the person. Amen. So that you will know that God has taken over the battle. God bless you. Follow, follow, you destroy it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> there were two things that flashed. That fish, who saw that fish? I can't be the only one to see it. If it shows me something like that, who saw that fish that came out of that water? And um, what was the other one? Um, masquerade. And a, 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 a masquerade that left somewhere. You're the one? Go there. You're the one? Answer me there. Yes. What? Which one? I'm always carrying masquerade in the village. Eh? I'm in the village. You say what? I'm always carrying my spirit in the village. For dream or for physical? Physical. When did you carry last? 2004. The last time you carried was 2004. Four. Why did they carry my spirit? That time we are, we are in the village doing this carni uh, carnival and this, all these things. That village people say, I'm going to carry on. Say, I'm going to carry on. Yes. There was something I saw. I saw a masquerade that walked out of someone and left. Did you see anything like that there? No. But you, your walk before the masquerade. As a terrible spirit, they cast on you. You have received your deliverance. Come to the altar. Let's come and stand there. Can we clap our hands for our God? The carry masquerade. Hallelujah. The fish. Who saw that fish? Fish. This one was a fish. A throwaway and by with force out of the water. Land on the shore like that. Who is the person?
Did anybody see that? Marine Kingdom. They have just rejected somebody here. Okay, okay, okay. Those of you watching us, if it's any of you, just call us for us to confirm you are the one. Those of you watching us, those of you who join us through the broadcast, if you are the one, please let us know. But I'm telling you, okay, is there anybody else here who saw something in the spirit while we were praying? You want to share it with us? Anybody in the congregation? While we were praying, you? You saw something? Yes, talk. We hear you. I saw a man, but his name is uh, Chizoba in my village. He merely you say pull out the ring. I just held this hand. Mm. He just came out like this and turned to something else, but I don't know what he turned to. No, it just came out of my um, out of my life. Toy. With big head. What? With big head. Yeah. <laughs> That's a serious deliverance you received. See why it's good to go to church. What's his name again? Eh? Moka. It's about Moka. I know him as his name is Moka. Chizoba Moka. His name is Moka. Chizoba. <laughs> <laughs> you will shout I am free from Chizoba Moka I am free from Chizoba Moka stand at the altar face it, lift up that hand and shout it very well say it, lift up that left hand up. Uh -huh. I am free from Chizoba Moka Four times. Uh -huh. Finally. Free. She's free. And every more car that is disturbing you. Holy Ghost. I mean, she's about more car. Praise the Lord. I didn't say pastor. I didn't say pastor Moka. I, I'm, I didn't say pastor Moka. But every Moka that is a witch. Holy Ghost. Sister, you are free from that spirit. Mommy, what of you? Yes. Uh, we are busy breaking keys. Our key. We are busy breaking key. Oh, you saw key, key. Yes. being we broken. Break, yes, everybody was just busy breaking the key. Wow. You broke your own too. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> your life must move forward. More especially the pastors. Yeah. More especially our the pastors, pastors here. Yes. That's why they know they remember us. Now they will remember us. <laughs> they remember us. When we bless them here, finish. They will go Catholic church. Go testify. Come do thanksgiving there. I love that. Keys we are broken. From today, your life will move forward. <laughs> Praise the Lord. While we're still praying, while standing, I, I felt I was sleeping in sleep. I, I was carried by sleep. I saw a huge man, very huge, tall, dark, complexion man. So he backed me. I was trying to tell him, and talk to me, he stayed. Mm. It was a, then secondly, I saw another vision of another fellow who was very, he, he, was, he looks like as if he's a human being or, you know, these uh, people that sing uh, rock and roll, the way they dress. That was how mm. he dressed and he was flying out. He was going away. Ah. Can we clap our hands for Jesus? God bless you. Deliverance shall be permanent. Yes, anybody there? Yes, brother. Um, while, uh, when they anointed our hands, when they anointed our hands, I was just speaking. And I went to the toilet to use myself. While I was coming back, that, at that side there, 
there was one yellow sister that was there. She was she lifted her hands up. As I was coming, me, I was just praying my own now. I just I was looking up and I saw as if that her ring that her hand, as if they painted the finger black. So I looked again. I was like, ah, oh, wow. I was like, Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> so when you were now saying we should say, Holy Ghost, fire, fire. This thing now came back to my mind. I was like, ah yes. She has received that deliverance. Amen. You know the sister? Is she single? I don't know. I'm Is she single? I don't know. I'm the way you, she appears. Yeah. She, uh, she looks single. She looks she, single. Yes. Go and look for her again. I, I don't know why God showed you the sister. I don't know. No, I, what I'm saying, I say go so that you pray for her. So that she can become your prayer partner. Are you two? Yes. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Pastor, Pastor, honestly, I see something but impurity complex. Let me not come out when you say it earlier. And the other time I came here, when I see something, I didn't come out. The thing suffered me so much. That is why I tried to <laughs> come out now. I saw the three things. When you are speaking about that masquerade, mm. I saw that masquerade. Mm -hmm. He ran outside. He yes. began to tear in himself outside there. Mm -hmm. They were moving it. George, clap your hands now. It must go. Somebody must be delivered. And uh, I saw the boy that put it on. After he removed his begin to scatter himself, he put on only pants outside there. Mm. So that is why I begin to pray. And the time I'm, I'm at, at back there. And when you said about uh, Financial breakthrough. I came to the front here. Then, after some while, I, I lay down. So I open my palms. I see so they are packing some money in my hand like this. Hey! So, and they let that the money want to fly away. The and money won't fly. Uh, so they use that bank, uh, uh, this bank rope. Yes. Put it in my hand like this. So I no go go. So I won't go any time. I beg, come shake me. <laughs> I receive it too. So, yeah. hey. so, Nothing. enter my hand. So, I stay. Deadly. Deadly. When you are talking about garment, so there was something that just covered up. Like net. Cover me like this. I was praying. Say, what happened? What happened? But after you pray, pray, pray. So the thing, they remove that thing like this. Mm. Drop it down. Amen. I start melting. Melting. Amen. Melting. Can we put our hands together, please, for the Lord? God bless you. God bless you. Are you? Praise the Lord. Amen. I see at the age of 42, a man was being honored. He planted 42 churches. That the first one was in Otis Yoma. Church. You said what? A man was being honored at the age of 42 years. He planted 42 churches. And the first branch was in Otis Yoma. The man's name. The, oh, where he planted the church? I don't understand. The first one was in Osisi Oma. Oh, the first church planted yes, sir. was where? In Osisi Oma. Osisi Oma. But at the age of 42 years, he planted 42, 42 churches. Oh. 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 At the age of 42 years, yes. a man planted 42 churches. And he was being honored. No. What then are you? <laughs> Amen. God bless you. I don't understand your revelation. Yes. I saw an oil releasing from my right hand side. Oil. Then oil. Yes, anointing oil releasing from my right hand side. After that oil, I saw a man use. Nyash creeping out. After the man go out, he used what? He used nyash. Just move, move away. He left me with nyash. He just used nyash. They go move out. Uh, creep. So later, I saw a ring removing from my hand. Amen. Then the time you are blessing, say you should stretch a hand. Then new ring. A new one hands. came. Clap your hands now. Then I saw an apple. Uh -huh. Apple. Releasing. Then I saw a key, car, car key, house key, 
Then uh, I saw a prayer. How many people collected that khaki? How many? Somebody jump or say, I receive. Uh -huh. They say, who house key? They there. Then I saw a pregnant woman left, left at me. Walked away from you. Yes, sir. Praise God. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Yes, yes. Let's be fast. Our time I is saw up. a snail. But at the same time, there was a hand breaking it. A snail. Yes, a hand broke the shell. Yes, sir. Amen. The spirit of slow progress has just been taken away. Put your hands together. Slow progress is gone. Uh -huh, young man. I saw uh, that time. You say, Talk to microphone. That time you said uh, water. About fish blowing out of the water. Fish that came out uh, of the water. I saw the, the river start flowing. So many fish just come out. Oh, you saw it. Church, clap your hands now. And I then saw that time you say uh, wedding rings. They're not hearing. That time you say wedding rings. That will come out from. Wedding rings. Uh, that time we are praying. So I just saw plenty of people, well, people wearing white garments. Hey! Hey! I must marry. Jump up and shout and receive. Receive your wedding ring, receive your wedding gown, they yes. People wearing white, white garments, sharing the rings. And some is coming out from above, jumping into person's sand. That's what I said. Hallelujah. Can we clap our hands again? Marine Kingdom has lost so many people tonight. <laughs> yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sir, while we pray, Yes. When we were praying, I was seeing a baby at first. But when you said, when we started praying, I saw a river like you see, a big river like that. Then a woman carried forth a baby out of the river. Mm. Amen. Then, <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. I also saw somebody came and dropped money on my leg. Drop money? Yes. I make I touch your leg. Now, <laughs> me, they receive this blessing past all of them. I was seeing that everybody just dropped my phone there and dropped money also on my lap there. So I thank God for that. And I saw the demon was bad. A, an evil man appeared with big air. So I started praying against it. I told God that would, that's, it, that's the sign of separation that Amen. I will not see that again. And later I didn't see that spirit. Again. Amen. Can we put our hands together for our God? <laughs> eh? You, you saw something? Wow. What did you see? I see white ring inside Lylon and the ring is too white. And now open the Lylon, the ring now be cutting small, small. Begin cut the ring small, small. Yes. You have just delivered somebody. Clap your hands for Jesus. God bless you. Last person. Okay. Yes. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. When we are doing the ring mystery, uh, as I was pulling my own hair, yes. there was like something like rabbit with long hair. Uh, uh, on and the long ears that just flee out from my out throat. of your finger, joy. Now, wow, demons they are iri iri. This one now, like uh, rabbit, your deliverance shall be permanent. Go again, may they anoint them again. Um, which single brother? Oh, could you sit down? Go there first, single brother. Go there, go sit down for them. All those ministers don't marry, finish all of them. Uh, Chima is almost married. I want a single. That brother, we, we see one sister with something. Come out, come. Come. Come and anoint her wedding ring and collect her phone number. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Yeah, while we were praying, just from the side of the women, so there was a tall man and very dark. So the man passed in front of me. So I got afraid because that was a very a giant. Then he plaited his hair, short hair. Then I was, you know, putting on a red barret. So he really did that. The man was really a terror coming out from the side of the women. 
So I shouted, I got afraid, and I prayed. Then again, as we were praying, my pastor said we should raise up our fingers. You know, I raised up my fingers, so about four rings, you know, uh, metallic color was drawn out of my hands. Oh, then I saw another hand again came and put a golden round one on my hand. Clap your hands now. Jesus has taken over. He has taken over. Okay, the last person now. The last person. I know everybody has a testimony tonight. Praise the Lord. While you were praying, Pastor, I saw a glass in a sea. So the, immediately you said we should break the, the glass, uh, 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 destroy the covenants. I broke the glass and many Ooh. rings were coming out. You see? You see? And the other one, I saw myself killing children in that dream. Ooh. Then the man that appeared to me was not saying, why am I denying him? that uh, he has been married to me from my 10 years. I said, it's not me. So while I was praying, the spirit now left me and a masquerade left me also from my mother's compound. Hallelujah. Then the last one that happened was while you were saying, receive your wedding ring, a ring, a diamond ring with a, 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 a glittering stones fell into my hand. From Go and marry. Amen. Go. Diamond, for her own was diamond. Eh? Poor man, who will come near you? Rich man, eh, go marry you. In Jesus' name. Every sister that wants a rich man to marry her, you are still single. Shout, I receive. Anyone that wants a poor man, say, I reject. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we stand up, church? Can we stand up? A wonderful night, isn't it? You are happy that you came here this night. Clap your hands for our God. Please, let all, as soon as we share the grace, all the children in our midst tonight, all the children, let them all be anointed at the altar. The ministers, we have to anoint all of you at the altar. Which one is that? Tell them to anoint. Anoint. Masquerade. Hallelujah. We have to close now because of environmental. But please, we will appreciate the younger ones to wait and then join other sisters to clean up this environment. And remember our service starts 9 a.m. with the Sunday school. Come, your life will never remain the same again. Also, please, by way of announcements, can we all stand up, please?